Okay, we are going to use Pascal's triangle to to um, expand polynomials again. All right, so we need a polynomial to expand. So here we go. We'll do one. So this is different than yesterday because there's numbers and letters all together. So Pascal's triangle. We look and we see, let's zoom in. We can see if this one is three, we have to use the row three, which is one, three, three, one, right? Now we can see up here that if it was just x plus y, it would be one x cubed, three x squared y, and then x y squared, and then y cubed. Right, that's just the way it works. Right? So we know that that's the way it's going to be, except that there's a 2 in front of the x. So what does that do? Let me show you. So remember, it's supposed to be 1, 3, 3, 1. There we go. So we're going to do that. We're going to write 1, 3, 3, 1. So we know the numbers. Now we know the letters as well. We know that the first thing, 2x, is to the third power. And there's not any y's. We know the second thing has 2x to the second power and 1y. The third one has 2x to the first power and 2y's. And the last one has 3y's. So once again, why is it that way? Look right here. You see x is 1. 1 is x3. Then there's x squared with 1y. So I have 2x squared because there's a 2 and an x together. And then there's 3 times x to the 1, y2. Well, it's 3 times 2x to the 1, y2. Right? That's what we're doing. So, there we go. This is it, except I have to work it out. So, 2 to the third power I know is 8. And then x to the third power is just x to the third. So, this is 8x to the third. Hoorah! Okay? What about this one? Well, this is 2 squared. That's 4. Right? But there's a 3 in front, so you have to multiply 3 times 2 squared. 3 times 2 squared would be 4. 3 times 2 squared would be 12. What am I saying, huh? And then see, x squared is there. And then the y. Okay. Now then, the 1 is distributed, so this is x1 and this is 2 to the 1, right? Well, 2 to the 1 is just 2. 2 times 3 is 6. x, y squared. And then the last one, y cubed. That's the answer right there. 2x plus y. Oh, look at me. Silly boy. Here I was talking. So, 2x to the third. This has to be to the, to the second power. This is to the first. First power. Now here we go. 2 to the third power is 8. 2 times this 4 times 3 is 12. The powers still stay like they are. The x's have to go x3, x2, x1. No x's. Then there's no y's. y1, y2, y3. Just like we did yesterday. Very, very similar. What if we did um, 3x minus 2y, and we did it to the fifth power? Oh my goodness! Fifth power? What's that going to be? Well, I look at my num thing, my Pascal's triangle, which you have. Let me zoom in on it. Maybe I can zoom in. Look. Row 5 is 1, 5, 10, 
10 phi 1. That's row 5. 1 phi 10, 10 phi 1. So that's what I have to write down. So I'm going to do that. Now this time I'm going to remember to zoom back out. Ha! So I've got 1, 5, 10, 10, 5. Ah! Where can I put the 1? I'll put the 1 right here. Is there going to be room? Maybe. Okay. So remember, you have to take the first thing to the fifth power. So that's 3x. That whole thing has to be to the fifth power. And then that's plus 5 times 3x to the fourth power. And then negative 2 to the first power, right? Negative 2 to the first, because it goes 5, 4, the next one is going to be 3. This one's 3x to the third, and negative 2 to the second, right? Yeah, 5, 4, 3, and then this one goes 1, 2, and the next one's going to be y3. So x squared, this one's going to be 3x squared, negative 2, we're going to have to get rid of that, y to the third, then plus 5. How can I write that? I'll just write it up this way. 5, now then the 3x is to the 1 power, and the 2 is to the 3rd. So this is negative 2y to the 4th. And then remember the last one has to be 1 times ah, negative 2y to the 5th. Right? So the x's, the 3 and the x's are both raised to the 5th. Then they're raised to the 4th. Then they're raised to the 3rd. Then to the second, then to the first, then there's not any x's. And the y's, negative 2y is raised to the first, then negative 2 is raised to the second, negative 2 is raised to the third, negative 2y is raised to the fourth, and finally to the fifth. So what is 3 to the fifth power? That's the question. So you go to your calculator, raise 3 to the fifth power, that's 243. So this is 243x5. First number. Okay? Plus. Whoops. Minus. How do I know it's minus? Because this is negative 2 to the first power. That's negative 2 times 3 to the 4, which is 81, times 5. So see, this this is 5, this guy right here, is 5 times 3 to the 4th, that's 81, times negative 2. So negative 2 times that times that, that's going to be the number that's in front. So it's going to be negative. And what in the world is that? Well, negative 2 times 81 times 5 is gigantic, negative 8 10. Okay, so it's x5, x4. The next one has to be 10 times 3 to the third times negative 2 squared. Now you know negative 2 squared, negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 4. So this is, this, th this number right here is positive 4. This number is 3 to the third, that's 27. This number is 10. Woohoo! So when I multiply all this out, 4 times 27 times 10, I get 1080. And then it's x3 y2, because that's what always happens, right? x to the fifth, fourth, third, that's, it has to go down. So now we're doing the next one. This one is negative 2 to the third, 
So negative times negative times negative, that would be negative 8. 3 to the second, that's positive 9. And then times 10. So 9 times negative 8 times 10, that's going to be negative. So this one's going to be subtraction. So negative 8 times 9 times 10 turns out to be negative 720 x squared y cubed. Oh joy, we're getting down to it. Okay, now we got to come over here. So I'm looking at negative 2 to the fourth. Well, that's negative times negative four times. That's positive. That's positive um, 16. So this is positive 16. I'll put it right here. Positive 16. 3 to the first power is just 3 times 5. So 3 times 5 is 15 times 16. 15 times 16 is 240. Plus 240. Now remember the x's are going down, so that means x1 and y4. And then finally, the last number is negative. How do I know that? Because it goes positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. 2 to the 5th is um, 32. Y 5. And that's the answer. We did it. Yes, sir. That's the whole shebang. Okay. You're able to do today's homework, no problem. Bye-bye.